Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California, the premier dealership for the Vespa scooter here in San Diego. So today I have here a 2021 Vespa GTS 300 HPE SuperTech. So the SuperTech is the premium sport model, the main features it usually includes, and, you know, as a carryover from the 2020 model is the all digital speedometer that has multi-functions in it and also has Bluetooth connectivity to your phone and can you know, control music with this little joystick that's on the handlebars. And they've always come in a specialized, unique color. So the 2020 model that's outgoing came in a Grigio, just a solid gray color, kind of like a cement color with a clear, uh, glossy clear coat on it. And if you watch my videos in the past, I've always liked that color all the way back in the early 2000s when it was on the Audi TT and then later on the 60th anniversary Vespa GT60. And then it was reintroduced for the 2020 SuperTech model. So for 2021, the new thing that they have for the SuperTech is this new matte finish light blue color. So it still has the same SuperTech badges, the yellow T with the 300. It's got the all black wheels that are included with the SuperTech, but now in the 2021 style pattern with Pirelli Angel tires instead of the Michelin City grips. But engine wise, uh, feature wise, everything else is pretty much identical from the 2020 model. So I suggest you watch my 2020 Vespa GTS 300 HPE review and I talk about every feature and the performance and how the scooter rides is pretty much unchanged for 2021. Just the color and that's what you get and the new wheels for the 2021 SuperTech. But as you can see, there's a lot of black pieces on here and there are several custom pieces on here. The new owner of the scooter, Dennis, he's a longtime Vespa owner, owns a dealership of his own here in Southern California, uh, came, came to me and said, hey, I think I want a super tech and I want some uh, kind of cool custom stuff, but keep it subtle and my wife's got to go on the back. So um, kind of did this subtle setup uh, with some nice improvements and I'll kind of start with the top and move all the way through the back of all the cool stuff that's been added to the scooter. So normally the SuperTech just has standard silver trim on it, unlike the Note or the Racing 60s that have the black trim package uh, factory included with them. Uh, pretty much put the whole black trim package on the scooter. There's one part that we now have available at ScooterWest.com is a GTS dash HPE dash BK, which is a black kit, the Piaggio official black kit. Uh, doesn't include everything. There's still chrome bar ends that you leave behind. The mirrors aren't included, levers, for instance, but it includes everything from the headlight rim, the leg shield trim, a fender crest that does have an optional, um, the Scooter West Vespa Motorsport aluminum one that was upgraded. Uh, the black foot pegs are also included. Um, and if you look at my next video, I'll cover all the pieces that are included. It's great value, um, considering you get a lot of the black pieces all in a group of parts for uh, less cost and buying all the pieces individually. Uh, but stuff that's been added is the black pair of mirrors. They're just a standard affair GTS Note mirrors. It's got the MG Bike Tech full length adjustable uh, aluminum uh, levers. These are made in Austria. Cool thing about them, you could tip them forward and make little adjustments right here. You look at the grips and the bar ends, got the black Scooter West powder coated bar ends. Um, heated grips, the Koso ones, they're definitely the best and the cleanest setup for the Vespa GTS. And I'll show you that, how they work when we come around the other side. I know summer's coming along, but it's always nice to have heated grips, even on those cool mornings, just turn them on low and having that little extra warmth, especially with me with my like scrawny hands that don't have good circulation. Uh, part of the black kit is the horn cover grill. Uh, there's a fender crest, that's the aluminum Vespa Motorsport. And if you're wondering about any of these part numbers, just look in the description of this video. I have all the part numbers listed. So 
you have the standard new 2021 wheel. It takes quite a bit of work to fit this aftermarket brake setup. The shock is no, no issue to fit. It's got the very popular Bitubo um, reservoir front shock. You got an adjustable compression and adjustable preload right here. But uh, underneath this, it's got a Melosi wave rotor and the most striking feature of this whole front end, the Brembo full-size caliper uh, with a set of EBC centered brake pads on there. Uh, there's also the bracket to mount it, some specialized hardware. We do some modification to fit this onto the scooter. It's definitely not for your basic do-it-yourselfer to fit this brake setup. You need to either be advanced um, and have a lot of mechanical know-how or just bring it to us and have it professionally installed. So that's quite a good upgrade. That's one of my favorite upgrades. You can pretty much two finger brake this thing. You still have the safety of the ABS braking system that is fully functional with that setup. So let me focus into the cockpit of this SuperTech. Of course, you got the LCD instrumentation, does a nice little intro screen. You got the basic stuff like your miles per hour and the fuel gauge and a multifunction um, gauge that you could change your settings. You know, obviously the, the miles per hour, miles per gallon, your range, that's some of the more important ones. You know, you got 90 miles range. And obviously that stuff is updated as you ride the scooter more. It also has the temperature sensor. One thing they did change for 2021, the temperature sensor is at the very, very front of the scooter. I'm talking in the front fender. So it's very, very accurate now. The prior model was underneath the floorboard and it would end up uh, getting heat soaked by the radiator so it always read a much higher temperature. So there's one more upgrade they did for the 2021 model with this SuperTech. Uh, of course, it's got the Koso heated grips, very, very integrated. There's no little extra controller that's hanging off the bike. You could change the, um, the temperature of your grips just based on the color. You know, the, the warmer the color, the hotter the grips will be set at. And it remembers the setting and when you turn ignition off, Obviously the heated grips go off. Got the little joystick that makes all the function controls. Um, you know, for the speedometer, you know, you could even, we can go into the setting and pair it to the Bluetooth. You could say, change the, um, the, um, the, uh, the background of the display. There's a couple different variations of the background. So just to show you, uh, right now it's got the Vespa, the smooth or the grid. So there's three different ones. We'll change it to grid, exit. And you can change many other things. The backlight changes based on uh, the ambient light condition. Uh, you know, when it's the night mode or lower lights, it will be this dark. And if you go out in the sunlight, it will be a much brighter uh, image. So it adapts to what the outside ambient light conditions, or you can override it. In, in your settings with a thing you could pick if you want the, the darker the light. Uh, I think that one does look the best, kind of got nice blues that match the blue of the scooter. So it's always fun to have the LCD. Um, I've covered in the past how the Bluetooth works. Um, I've had a lot of customers that are quite a fan of it. Like I said, I'm not too into it, but that's just me. Um, I like techie things though. And you got the glove box, the USB in there all the standard affair that you've found on the Vespa GTS for the last year. Um, the generous under seat storage, but back to the accessories that are on the scooter. Um, might not be the prettiest backrest, but this is the integrated flat black backrest with the folding rack. So it's very functional, especially if you have a passenger that's very strong. Uh, your passenger is gonna have something to lean, lean upon because as of April, the customer does want the color match top case, but they're not quite available yet. So to, unfortunately, some of the original Vespa and Piaggio accessories, um, they kind of fall behind when the bike colors are introduced. Uh, moving on to the back, this is the Note taillight. It's the full LED taillight, but has the black gloss trim around it. Obviously it looks super excellent with the nice LED illumination. Um, the most striking feature on the right side is the Acropovic muffler, and it's also got the carbon fiber heat shield. I've come to really like this muffler. I might do a new review of it. I think it's the perfect amount of sound out of a Vespa. 
The previous model, some people like it better because it is louder, it's lighter weight, and I've proven that in the video where I weighed it, and even the performance is slightly better. But this one, it just, I don't know, I'm so tired of hearing just noisy cars, noisy motorcycles, airplanes, all that. I can appreciate things that are a little quieter, but have a little bit noise and better sound than what the factory original uh, pipe is. And it sounds really nice when you rev it up. Turn the ASR system off. So it has a little bit of noise, but it's not over deafening kind of noise. And it's got the optional carbon fiber heat shield that goes over that header joint, kind of cleans up the look of it. Um, I'll soon do a, a second review of this pipe because I've kind of changed my mind about it. I like it much better, more than the prior model Acropovic pipe. And the last upgrade. So on the left side, we've added this Scooter West exclusive custom painted uh, gloss black belt cover on it. So a lot of people opt for the matte black. I really like the contrast that the gloss black gives you. You got that matte black HPE little air scoop and then you got the gloss black fading right into those gloss black wheels. And the very, very last treat that's on the scooter, it's got the new Bitubo uh, fully adjustable rear shocks with the remote piggyback reservoir. So uh, the reservoir, yeah, it's definitely there for looks, but you know, in professional high performance shocks, having a remote reservoir dissipates the heat better. You have better control um, because you have the nitrogen charge and the oil reservoir in that remote reservoir versus in the shock. So there's more room for the dampening rod and the stack of shims, that's all that makes up a shock absorber to function much better. So it's a little bit more than just dissipating heat you know, on a race vehicle. Um, it's just a better design overall. Uh, so that's the new Bitubo reservoir rear shocks. They only cost a little bit more than the standard uh, rear shocks for the, the GTS, you know, that are from Bitubo. So again, just look in the description of this video. There's links to all the custom products that have been installed on the SuperTech. I thought you'd find that interesting, kind of a combination of what the latest 2021 Vespa SuperTech's all about. Uh, 2021s are slowly trickling in and they're leaving rapidly from our shop. Any cool color, uh, they only last a couple days in our showroom. Interesting year for us, 2021 with summer coming around. Thanks again for watching. This is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport. If the first time you stumbled across this channel, consider subscribing. There's like over 600 videos all about Vespas, Vespas, and Vespas, and a couple other things too. Uh, but mostly how-to videos, so maybe you're not near a dealer and you want to service to get your hands dirty and learn how to work on a Vespa. I kind of have everything covered in that regard, along with all the fun accessories that we sell at ScooterWest.com for your Vespa scooter, whether it's a modern brand new scooter or a vintage scooter or just an older twist and go scooter like an ET4 uh, Vespa, even the Piaggio stuff we, we have quite a few parts in stock for. Thanks again for watching. This is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com.